Has anyone ever expected to get a fourth film in the Toy Story series? Probably not, as the whole story of the funny toy gang seemed to be finished when they left Andy in order to stay with Bonnie. It's a toy's role to be there for a kid and that's the thought, the message we are left with in Toy Story 3. Then there was the big news that Pixar would be doing Toy Story 4. I was skeptical first, but when I read the plot, saw the trailers and finally watched the film, I was convinced we really needed this last movie. Why? Because there's actually more for a toy than just being there for a kid. We all know Woody's love interest, Bo Peep, who left the gang in between Toy Story 2 and 3. The fans were really unhappy with the fact that Bo Peep wasn't there anymore. So, far, so as far as we didn't know what happened to her, we would have to see this last Toy Story feature film. In Toy Story 4 we see Woody struggling with the fact not to be played with as passionately and often as he once was. His only job is to keep an eye on Bonnie's newest self-made toy, Forky. When the family is doing a road trip, Woody gets lost looking after the little Spork. He randomly reunites with Bo Peep and for the first time in his life he asks himself if there isn't more out in the world than just being there for a kid. I have been talking about Bo's big character change in the video about Bo. I put that link in the suggestion in the top right hand corner, so if you haven't watched f yet, feel free to do so. Talking about Bo, we should take a quick look at the appearing characters in the film. We know the returning we know the returning ones, I'm sorry, such as Woody and Buzz very well, and another time Pixar managed to create this familiar atmosphere as the characters are still the same we were used to for over 24 years. Moreover, it's just so great to see Bo Peep again, who was really missing in Toy Story 3. Her complete character change is impressive, and her figure is a colorful contrast in the film. Of course, there's Forky, who, be who believes to be trash. His lovely maid character makes a great contribution in the film, as well as Bunny and Ducky, who may even be the best characters we see there. Their jokes and behavior, all their comments and manners are really funny. Really funny. There's, they serve for the right humor in the film and are amusing every time you rewatch Toy Story 4. Again, there is a villain, Gabby Gabby, although she isn't as harmful as Lotso, luckily. We can understand her actions, although her thought only to be possible of making a child happy if a speech model works is really weird. She wants Woody to give, give her his one because he has been making children happy and doesn't need it anymore in her eyes. In the end she learns a lesson and then gets the chance to make her dreams come true. Well, I mentioned characters and humor, but it is even more important to talk about the turning point of the film and the emotion. Spoiler alert! Right, you can all call Toy Story 4 the most emotional movie in the series as there are many moments you can't prevent yourself from crying. On top, Pixar was really daring with this movie project. Daring something very special. When it comes to the end, Woody is close to returning to Bonnie and leaving Bo again. This time forever. It's Buzz who tells him that Bonnie would be okay without him. He lets his best friend leaving a lost toy, but therefore reunited with his beloved Bo Peep. It's just so emotional and probably the highest peak in an animated film can ever reach. All we want is the best for Woody and his decision is really marking an ending we would never have expected for the Toy Story series. Really, really daring. I can just repeat it as I have been as fascinated as touched when watching this scene the first and the second time. To conclude with, I can tell you that Pixar hasn't lost the Toy Story spirit that first arose in 1995. There is a new moral that a toy has its own life and that there is more than to serve for a child. There is so much emotion, fun and charm in the last Toy Story film and I can just recommend it as it brings the series to a desirable ending, although there is one big goodbye. As you may have expected, I'd give the film an A+. So let me know in the comments which is your favorite Toy Story film and what do you think on Toy Story 4. 
I'm really interested in your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed the Toy Story Anniversary series so far. There may be some videos to follow, but thank you very much for watching. I'm sorry again, and see you on soon. Bye now.